dear students kset 2024 option entry edit last date has already been announced so it is on 17th of august 2024 till 11 59 pm right so yes in this video we will be discussing some important and effective tips that you must consider while making your option entry so please remember whatever changes you make in your option entry now that will be considered for your second mock allotment results right so yes it is very important and a crucial step so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on any tip and you can make your option entry more effective more well structured and more strategized okay so now let's get started here first let us understand why it is need, like why there is a need to change the option entry or to make any editing in the option entry okay what is the need for that so here it is because once we have seen the uh, sorry we have seen the so we have seen the first mock allotment cutoff right so now when you have checked this one we have found certain things in that so cutoff of for some colleges have changed drastically okay so whatever option entry you might have made before i i believe that that was based on your k 2023 round to extended cutoff based on that you might have prepared your option entry but now the cutoff for some colleges and some branches has changed drastically so now it is our duty like it is correct to uh, edit our option entry based on these mock allotment results okay now so it is important now to review the option entry so we will see certain colleges where the option entry uh, where the changes are very drastic with the cutoff so you can see here i have listed a few colleges the first college here is bms college of engineering if you see for mock 1 in 2023 the cutoff was 891 for computer science branch okay these all are for computer science so again in round 1 2023 it was 891 so there was no difference between the mock cutoff and the round 1 cutoff in 2023 but in mock 1 2024 it is 1948 so a huge increase uh, like a huge uh, decrease in the cutoff is there okay now coming to the second college here that is JSS Science and Technological University so if you see here for mock 1 2023 the cutoff was 3035 and the round 1 2023 cutoff was 2765 but if you see for mock 1 2024 it is 6890 okay again a drastic decrease in the cutoff can be found here the next college here we can found it see siddhartha institute of technology located in tumkur for computer science mock 1 in 2023 the cutoff was 25773 in round 1 2023 it became 25981 so you can see not much difference here but in mock 1 2024 the cutoff has gone down to 52559 okay so again a drastic decrease in the cutoff has taken place now coming to this one kle technological university for mock 1 2023 the cutoff was 4273 in round 1 2023 it is 4182 but in mock 1 2024 the cutoff has gone down to 11521 which is again a drastic decrease in the cutoff now um, there has been so many report like uh, so many uh, i have found information regarding the cutoff for kle technological university that it is wrong okay but till now there is no official data so we can consider whatever cutoff is given in the pdf of the official website okay so now when we see that so many changes so many drastic changes have been there in the cutoff so now it is very important for us to review our option entry and see whether we can add some better colleges in our list or not okay so that is why coming to the first one first tip that you have to do here is make a note what note you have to make make a note of at least 10 to 15 colleges okay and courses that you are interested now you'll be saying ma'am we have done this before also right why again so this is because now the cutoff has changed there may be some good colleges that you can add in your in your 10 to 15 college list or options that were not present last time when you did it with uh, KSET 2023 round 2 extended cutoff when you use that and you did prepare some 10 to 15 colleges and the list that you have made that, that time and the list that you will be making now by seeing the uh, round 1 sorry by seeing the first mock of 2024 so if you check this one 
and make your 10 to 15 colleges list there may be some new colleges and new courses can be added because the cutoff for some colleges and branches have changed okay so that is the first thing you need to make a new list for 10 to 15 colleges next add colleges wisely okay so now when you need to add some more options you need not add those colleges where the cutoff is very high from your rank you have to be very strategically adding the colleges right so like for example uh, like don't waste your time in adding those colleges now where the cutoff is too high from your rank like i'll give you an example suppose the cutoff is 15k for some college and your rank is 50000 somewhere near to that okay then you need not consider this option right now at all okay 15k 50000 too much difference is there you can leave that right now okay and add good colleges and add them if you can get that options okay so you can check different good colleges are there you can check their cutoff okay and if you find that these colleges fit in your rank range then just add them so how can you find the good colleges so here in our channel we have videos regarding top 20 colleges top 40 colleges top 60 colleges and also top 100 colleges cut off our gear in all these videos okay so please watch them and uh, note down the cut off values quickly and then check which colleges can fit in your rank range okay now coming to the next one to delete options the third tip here is to delete options now delete those options which you are very sure you will not join if the seat is allotted okay if you're very very sure for a particular college in the option that you do not want to join it for any reason maybe for because of its fees make it maybe because of the location or some other reason if you are not interested and you are hundred percent sure about it then only go for deleting the options but i will recommend that if you are not sure that whether you will join or not and you are not interested but you are not sure that you will join or not then take that option to the back okay now coming to the last step here changing of options okay this is very important now see here i'll discuss three cases okay with examples now see if the allotted seat in mock is near to the cutoff and if you want that seat then it's better to move it up what i'm saying suppose for example you have got some college okay college x and branch cs suppose you have got this one and the cutoff for this one is 10150 okay and your rank in the exam was 10000 your rank was 10000 okay and the cutoff went this much and you got this college x college with cs branch now if you are happy with this okay and the rank and the cutoff are very near to this very close by each other and you are very much interested to join this college if it is allotted in the real allotment also in that case you can do what you can do is you can move that option to top okay conditions you have to remember here first condition cutoff should be close to your rank second condition you are interested genuinely interested in that college and you wish to join and go to that college at any condition if you get in the real allotment also in these two cases only you can make that college you can take that college to the top okay now second example or second case here so this is my case one case two if the allotted seat cutoff has a lot of difference than your rank okay and you wish to have for a and you wish, uh, wish to go for a better option then you can remove that uh, then you can move that option down by four to five options okay please again uh, let us understand this statement again if the allotted seat cutoff has a lot of difference than your rank okay whichever uh, seat is allotted to you in the first mock allotment its cutoff and your rank has a huge difference means your rank is better than the cutoff by a huge margin then and you also want for better options you want like okay this is okay but i can get some better options if you think in that way then you can move that option down by four to five options okay now for example see suppose your rank as we have discussed is you have filled four five options okay okay and you got the third option your rank is ten thousand here okay and whichever option you got like for example y college and cs y college computer science you got your rank is 10,000 but the cutoff for that has gone by 25,000 like a huge difference from your rank so what you can do you can add some better colleges before this 
and take this college down by maximum four to five options. Okay, do not take it too back, but add colleges where the cutoff is um, better than this one. Right. Now coming to the next one, the third case here. If the allotted seat is of your interest, okay, whichever seat is allotted to, you are very happy with that. And if the cutoff difference is high, okay, and if only better colleges are above the seat, then don't change anything, okay. What I said now, for example, you have added th uh, five options, okay. Again, we'll take an example. Suppose you got the third, third college you got, okay. In this third college, what happened? You got Z College with computer science, whose cutoff is uh, fifteen thousand. Okay, and your rank in the exam is ten thousand. Okay, then and but whatever options you have added in the first and second colleges, those are better options than this third one. Okay, then you need not change your option entry. You can keep it as it is. Clear? I want to make uh, explain these three conditions again okay please listen it carefully see first condition i'm saying that if your cutoff sorry if your rank and the cutoff of the allotted college and course to you is very similar okay and you are genuinely interested to join this college if it is allotted in the real allotment also then you can take this option to top okay second condition or second case is if you are allotted a college okay uh, and whose cutoff is way far than your rank it means your rank is better than the cutoff okay and you are hoping for some better options then you can add some better options before this or uh, like you can take this option down and add some better colleges with good cutoff uh, above this option the third thing third case if the cutoff difference and your rank is huge okay and the colleges above your allotted uh, option are better than this okay and you are also satisfied with the option that is allotted with you and the options above it are also better the options in that case you need not change your option entry i hope all the three cases are clear okay yes so these were the important tips that you can follow before uh, the last date of your option entry so that you can make correct editing in your option entry and optimize it and make it well organized for the second mock allotment right so if you have any other doubts please comment down we'll definitely address it and thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates and all the very best for your case adoption entry